Jürgen, yesterday Mauricio Pochettino spoke and said the team who deals with emotion better will be closer to winning. Obviously, the majority of your squad has been in this position before has experienced what these finals are all about. So what is the overriding emotion that they will have to deal with on Saturday night? Oh, we're all very excited about, about having a chance again. That's how it is. We, last year, we, we played it. And I know you all make it. That's experience, of course. We, four years ago, a couple of us played uh, another final. So, um, yes, we are probably more experienced like the other team, but that doesn't how, how Poch probably is right. It make, doesn't make really the difference. It's about dealing with the situation in the best way, that's of course, but it's all about using the things you, they, they brought you to the final. That's it. And now we, so far, we, we control our emotions in a, in, a, in a really good way. We let them go and um, in the right in the right manner and all that stuff. So yeah, it's um, in a in a moment. It's pure, it's pure excitement. Really looking forward to it and and being really happy to have that chance again. That's what we wanted to have after last year. And now we are here. All good. Come on, Billy. Have to check on Roberto Firmino as well. Obviously, we know he joined in with the group again last week. So, how is he? How sharp is he? How ready is he to start? And is there any chance for Naby Keita as well? No chance for Naby. Naby is really progressing well. With the, uh, we will see how how it will work out for him with the African Cup of Nations. Don't know that yet. Um, um, and Bobby, yeah, trained. Uh, was part of training last week, looked really good, everything fine. And then we took him out for uh, again and um, will be in training, I think, from tomorrow on again. So, um, yeah, all what we saw so far looked really good. And, um, and yeah, he will, be, he will be fine, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I've seen quite a few hands up go. We'll, we'll do the front row first of all. Sorry, I should have said the microphone can go back to Mike from uh, BBC. And then Juliette, I don't know if you want to go off the back of Mike if you've got one that makes sense to do that. Yeah, again, it's not just talent and ability that, that makes great footballers and great teams. Uh, I think we're all even surprised ourselves, even though we see Liverpool week in, week out, as to the levels of energy that the players expend. It's, uh, have you ever had or worked with a team that, that work harder than this group? I don't like to blame my other teams, to be honest. Um, I, I, I love them all. That's how it is, so, because they all gave their everything, and this team is doing well. But this is, I've never been part of a final with a better team than this. That's true. But um, in the different times, for different reasons, we were, my teams were, were good as well. And. Um, yeah, uh, we, I'm not so surprised because the boys are, uh, how we call it, mix up potential with attitude in the best way I ever fancied. So, uh, I, I ever, um, I, I ever witnessed, sorry, I ever saw, experienced. Though that's um, just brilliant, it's, uh, exceptional, and that brought us where we are. So, we could have said a couple of weeks ago, it's not really likely that you can will be champion at the end of the season. Oof. Human beings are like that. You stop giving you everything because only for a chance we are not really ready. We want to have it for sure. These boys did it for the chance, for being there, but gave us a lot, showed us a lot. And um, yeah, in these five, six days between Barcelona and Barcelona, I would say nobody believed more in, in this team than the team itself. So that was, that was brilliant. And that's why we are here. It's, um, it's a sensational situation, how I said. Being here again is, is great. We, didn't exp we wanted it. We wanted it really desperately, but it looked like it slips through our fingers in the group stage already. Um, we had a brilliant start in the Premier League, but struggled a bit in the away games, against, um, in, the away games in our group, but did it in the most mature way you can do it against the Italian side. You have to win 1-0. Unbelievable. And since then, all our away games were really impressive. Barcelona not result-wise, but performance-wise 100%. Bayern Munich, Porto was really, really, was really good. And so, um, yeah, I'm really happy that we, that we can do it again. How much has the disappointment and devastation of what happened in Kiev in the Champions League last season, how much has that helped to spare you and the players and everybody else on to, to, to achieve 
what you've achieved this season, at least in footballing terms. How has it galvanised the group? Yes, it has. It, it had big influence on us. So it was like from the... I, I remember that situation when we were... I think I said it already, that when we stand in the cube in the, at the airport in Kiev on the way home, all in the tracksuits, heads down, stuff like that. Everybody really frustrated, just very disappointed about the situation. Uh, you could, we could not really get it. It was not allowed to be angry on this or that. And it was a lot of different emotions in our head, obviously. But the plan was, we come again. We will be there again. And uh, now we are there. That's, that's just incredible. But there was a long time in between. I think a lot, pretty much each team who lost the final uh, will think, yeah, we put that right um, at any point. And then had not a chance next year. We have the chance. And um, yeah, it was, the, it was the, 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 the kick start for the development of this team 100%. From the first day in the preseason when we were all together, um, from the first match day, was a, a big, 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 big step for the boys. This team is not, not even to compare with the team of last year. So and that's good. We're going to go Juliet, then we'll go to Ian. But we'll go Juliet first, and Ian, then the gentleman in the second row. Okay, so Jules, yours first. first. Jürgen, can I just ask a question about your captain, Jordan Henderson? Two European finals, he's come so close. A World Cup semi-final, obviously the Premier League title race as well. It's like as if he's channeling, you know, all those setbacks and sort of pushing forward to, to just a to achieve glory. And that's like a reflection on the team as well. He's sort of channeling every ounce in, and putting that into the energy and sort of driving this team. The best, the best, the best uh, piece of character of this team is the, the constant readiness for development. Just, and that's how it is, so you have to do it. You can always, I like to, 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 to take James Milner as an example, because Millie's, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that in public, but me and my 33. So, um, and he's still developing in really big steps. Coming down here, using his unbelievable skills, and just better moments. So, and he's an example, and, and like Hendo, and they all they always want to make the next step. That's, it's just um, it, that's that's in them, um, and that that helps a lot. Eh? So, but we all know you, you said all these wonderful. We said all these wonderful finals, but um, he played here, semi-final there, final here, final there, and stuff like that. But we all know. And I, I'm, I'm really happy that we have the opportunity um, to give these boys the opportunity then um, to win something. We, I'm, I was never worried about the future. I'm not worried about the future. It was always clear we will have with this team, we will have more chances. The Champions League final is, 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 a, is a rare one eh, because um, obviously a lot of clubs are only built to be there in the, in, in the final or win it. We are not. But um, that we are there again is a, is a pure show of of the of will of the boys and we wanted to be there and they are there and uh, that's brilliant and um, all these boys are play important roles in, in in this on this trip if you want um, because it was a difficult one Ian, then we go to the second row okay yeah can to see does the dynamic of saturday's game change at all the fact that it's two english teams in the final the dynamic what do you mean keep it if you were playing Real Madrid or Barcelona, it, it, maybe it would have a real feel of a European game. This is, this <laughs> oh, is we the feel best it. game being played for. No, 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 three weeks in between. Um, so we feel it as a real European final, as nothing else. So um, it always can happen. Um, and how it looks at the moment, it's not unlikely that it can happen in the, in the, in the near future again. Um, that two English teams can be in the, in the final, that like Spanish teams did from time to time. One time it was us and Bayern, so um, it's a proper European final, nothing else. It's not the third game we play against Tottenham or whatever, it's a European final and um, that's how they prepare it and that's how we prepare it. Okay, second round, gentlemen, yeah. Hello, Jürgen, Jose Alvarez for Jugones from Spain. Guardiola said a lot of times that for him it's more important to win Premier League than Champions League. What is your opinion? Which is more important for you? <laughs> Yeah, look, that's how it is. Um, Pep has that to say, probably, um, <laughs> because he was not in the Champions League final for a while. Don't, don't get it wrong. 
we all know that he's the best manager in the world and he deserves all the praise he, he gets. But it's like, if you ask us questions, I, I, you ask me the question, what is more important to you as a Liverpool manager? I have to say the whole year, um, the Premier League, because people say it's the Premier League, that's okay, we tried everything. I think nobody is in doubt about our desire to win the Premier League, but there was a better team, so we accept that. We cannot ignore that there's another competition where we are in. So it's the Champions League, we want to go as far as possible. Um, that means uh, we want to win it, that's it. But um, that's how I said, if Pep said that, I'm not sure he said that, I heard him saying um, that people accept, uh, only will see him as a, as a success or this area of success if they win the Champions League as well. So you see how, how luxury the problems are he has. So, um, but it's all good, how I said, and um, I'm sure they will try it again and, and he has the opportunity to win this this competition as well and yes during the season we have to we, we, we have to fight against them um, for the Premier League title and um, there's another competition and this year we were a little bit better than them in this competition. Okay we've got the next three questions one for Zed and then we'll go uh, back back that row yes. Jürgen you've been involved in the Champions League final before when two teams <laughs> from the same country played and usually when two teams from the same country play the final is always cagey because they know each other really well are you expecting that on Saturday at KG Affair? What is that word? KG. It means like a very tight b between the two teams. Oh, it will be very tight, no doubt. But it would have been very tight. The quality of, of Tottenham and us is is um, is pretty similar. So that's how it is. The difference between us in the league was um, was consistency. We won both games against Tottenham, but both games 2-1. We had brilliant periods in the games against Tottenham where I think we deserved. We deserve to win, but um, at the, especially the home game was an absolute tight game with a lucky goal, lucky punch from us in a pretty much last minute. So that's what we expect. There's no doubt about that. But Posh is right that uh, emotions will be completely different. You you have to be um, you have to do, use all the things you you use during the season, but in the specific circumstances. At, we are all human beings. Eh? It's a special game, and then after that, it's no game anymore, and all this stuff. So. Bring ourselves in the right mood is, that, is, is for us the job to do, to, to really um, play the game we want to play. And we know about Tottenham a lot, of course, but we had three weeks' time on Saturday, we had three weeks' time to prepare the game. After these three weeks, I would have known um, the name of the groundsman of Barcelona as well if they would have been the, 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 the opponent. So um, that's how the football world is. We would have known against each other team in the world exactly the same. Um, but against them, we played, so we know it's difficult. Tottenham know it's difficult, so let's play a difficult game and let's win it. OK, we've got the next three questions. Jeff, with the mic, and then we can go back the row, and then we'll go over there to finish it. Yeah. Hello, Jürgen. This is PP Sports from China. And you have led Liverpool to Champions League final for two uh, last two years, and this is what you haven't done before. So do you think this is already the highest or the greatest moment in your coaching career? Oh, if I win it, yes. Would be different to the last finals, huh? So, <laughs> um, to, to, to bring the team to the Champions League final again, if that's the biggest moment in my career. No, no, the biggest moment of my career was 2004, getting promoted with Mainz 05. <laughs> that was the biggest moment of my career. I cannot change that. And um, if you would have known what, what we had, the money we had, the circumstances we had, nobody needed us in the first league. Yeah, that was so far the biggest moment. Winning the Champions League with Liverpool, then I would think new. But so far, it's getting promoted with Mainz. Okay, yeah, a couple more, yes, sir, and then we'll go back. Jürgen Ute Kobold ZDF, good morning. Um, you said it's pure excitement at the moment. How do you take the excitement from here, including Anfield, to Madrid? I don't know exactly, but that will, the boys are like this. It's not, it's not about me, how I said. Um, um, I'm really, I'm really, really happy for the boys that we have their chance, and this chance gives us all the excitement. That we, you, it's, it's just we had um, the best, the, the best moment for the final would have been five minutes after we finished the game against Barcelona. So come on, let's play it immediately. But that was obviously not possible. And it's good that it was not possible because I'm not sure exactly what would have happened health-wise. But from my and that's now, of course, we had now. It, it was from the first day. You, you, the, the mood in the, in the team was really brilliant. The, 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 the working were great and, and attitude, all this stuff was brilliant. So that's what shows you these boys want to be there. It's not now each day counts, it's like, oh my God, now it's coming up. And 
we get a bit scared, scared or whatever, we really want to be there. Um, that's the only chance to win it, to be part of it, and um, that's what we want to do. And the year before, I was not sure if it's, if it's right or wrong, but we, we, we said, okay, we want to we wanna be in, at Kiev. This year, we wanted to win it, wherever it is. That was, a big, that was a big difference in the beginning, but it doesn't mean a lot. We know it's just our mindset, how, how, we, how we see it. We know how difficult it will be, and it's football. The ball rolls in different directions. You have to accept that even in the final. Lucky moments, bad luck moments, everything is possible, and you need to react in different ways. Um, as long as it's nil-nil, play a football, you're one nil up, play a football, you're one nil down, play a football. That's how it is, but it's, that's how it sounds easy. But obviously, in, in this moment, we, we were in a situation like this, and I like that the boys always delivered as long as they could. They tried, they were absolutely spot on in all the finals, as long as they could. But at Sevilla, the tank was empty, and honestly, last year as well, a little bit, plus losing more, plus conceding strange goals. So that has not, had nothing to do with, uh, with, uh, with uh, performance, these goals. The first one not, and uh, the, the bicycle kick <laughs> uh, not as well. So there were three really strange goals, if you want. And the boys were still in the game, eh? so it's all good. Final, not always a better team wins. Not, not often a worse team wins, but it's possible. You just have to be ready for, for, for these situations. You have to be ready to make mistakes in the most, maybe how people see it, it's easy to say, it's not the most important game. Well, don't feel that, but it's an important game. Eh? The whole world will watch it. Like it, they watched against Barcelona. There was no other game in that moment. So um, a lot of people watched it and we were ready to make mistakes and to sort it as a team. That's what we have to do again. Um, and if we, find, if we find a way to do that, then we are a difficult opponent. And that's the first thing we want to be. Okay, we've got the final few questions now. Don't worry, yes, gentlemen, the microphone. Yeah, uh, Christian there. Martin, Fox Sports, Latin America. Being from a very volatile football culture, our former players, our, the, the, the players from Barcelona that belong to our lands, um, all the experts have been very impressed with your approach, your coolness, your, your cool head, and you know, in, in, in critical moments, under pressure, against the ropes, with players missing, even when your team was scoring, and the comeback come seemed to be you know, materializing slowly, you always kept cool on a side. That's kind of a message that you spread. You know, what, what is the, the kind of thing you say to your players and to your squad um, to, to deal with these kind of situations, and especially when ahead of a final after what happened last year? As a head coach, obviously, you get involved in the football side, but the, 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 the oh, philosophy you bring down to everybody. <laughs> I had to say it a couple of times. It was the best game I ever saw. So we saw circumstances, missing players, 3-0 down, stuff like that. Um, but the boys gave me from the first minute the feelings they are completely ready to, 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 for it. Not winning 4-0 because it can never be, you, that's, you cannot plan that. Uh, but winning the game, and it was for me enough. Uh, winning against Barcelona would have been, imagine we would have won 3 0, would have been still a fantastic, a fantastic story, and then maybe losing, or 2 0, still a fantastic um, achievement. And everybody would say, wow, good response, but now Barcelona is in the final. So we wanted to win the game, and I saw we, uh, we are in the right mood. And um, in this moment, then I'm, I, can be, I can be relaxed, and we had, we had a clear plan what we want to do. We had a clear um, um, an idea how we want to change if we have to and all that stuff so that was to prepare for the game but um, yeah when I was younger I probably would have been different on the sideline and especially after the game but um, meanwhile I realized more and more that uh, I feel more relief than happiness in this moment so it's no no reason for for something else but it's not too long ago I was sprinting on the pitch and jumping in my goalkeeper um, in a in a similar situation I would say um, but it was an expensive run, and I decided um, I will not do that again. Okay. Lady who's got the microphone, yeah, and then you go to the gentleman Hi, behind you. Hi, Jürgen. Elena Papadopoulou from Cosmo TV Greece. I was wondering about the long break you had. You had uh, three weeks to rest. Pochettino said they were lucky to rest uh, that much, but uh, what's your thought about it? Uh, could that affect the game, the, the rhythm game, and because you were on fire during the end of the season? So could it be negative in a way? Not negative because both teams had the same had the same time to 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 use 
or to lose rhythm, whatever. Um, that's how it is. It's our, our, our life is a constant challenge. Eh? So it's never, if you play, if you would have played three, I think the European League, uh, league final three years ago, uh, or four years ago, we, we, we played after three days after a very intense league. So ask me three days, three weeks, I take always the three weeks, 100%. Best would be maybe a week after, but it's not possible because of the cup final, so it's only two weeks or three weeks. So I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Um, yes, for Tottenham it was for sure good. They had a lot of injuries, and so they came now pretty much all back. But we had as well, uh, with, with Bobby especially, um, uh, that he could use the time um, between his injury and, and the final. So it's how it is. But keep the rhythm, um, do the right things in training. We do that a lot, but usually, in a, even in the preseason, I, mean, I never had a preseason where I trained three weeks without a game. That's why we decided not to do it like this. So we had a game last Saturday. Um, internal game, um, and uh, so just to, to keep the rhythm, to do different things, and it was good. Everything is, was fine, um, but at the end, um, a final. With the things we did, we and Tottenham, we all will be fresher than three weeks ago, last match day, after playing, 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 playing. Both teams did that pretty much. Um, that's clear. but. Both teams are like this, so it will be maybe a more lively final than we saw already, we witnessed already in the past. Um, that's possible, but at the end, it's about um, dig in the game and play it. Don't worry, don't think, don't just play the game how you how you always played it. We we don't have to change things. We we know. Yes, Tottenham plays different systems, stuff like that. Can't change it in the game. It's only influence you if you are not ready to react on it, if you're too tired or not aware or whatever. Um, we had all time to prepare these things. Um, how I said, what do you do? Nil, nil, one, nil, up, one, nil, down. That's all things you don't want to have it. And it's not that you can. Okay, we are one, nil, up. We do it like this. We close the door at halfway line or whatever. It's not like this. It's just. Um, you can think a lot of things doing things, and you have to remind yourself from time to time how, st I, how, how strong my team is, so that not to forget it with all the analyze of the opponent, thinking, okay, Tottenham is good here, Tottenham is good there, and then, ah, but we are there as well, thank God. So that's how it is. It's just, uh, it's, it's now, we have now Tuesday, so it's five more days or so, it will go like this, and, boop, and then we play the game. And that's exactly how it, how it felt all the time, that we are really, the game was like the sun, and we were like psychic or whatever that we were really we were, that they took us in that direction, and we are really happy when we're finally there and play it and do everything to win it. Okay, last couple, but then please quite quickly. Come on, Jürgen. Yeah, Jürgen here in the middle. Uh, my name is Martin from Dutch Television in the Netherlands. Um, could you say something about uh, Van Dijk and about Wijnaldum uh, and, and some sort of Dutch influence on your team? Oh, I think the Dutch influence this year in the Champions League was 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 um, incredible. Eh? So, I'm not sure if you would have played Ajax, how many Dutch national players would have been in that game? A lot, five, six, seven, round about that. Eh? So that would be funny when they played against England three days later. So, but um, yeah, big influence, big big influence. Yeah? Super guys. Um, it's not only, by the way, it's not only Genie and Verge. It's John Achterberg and Pepin us as well, so the Dutch influence at Liverpool is pretty big, so, um, and we, we all benefit from that, um, yeah. I don't have enough time to say all the positive things about the two boys, actually, that's how it is, that they have really, uh, they play, played a big part, will play, play the big part so far, and will play a big part in the future as well for this club, are completely committed to the club. Um, feel themselves in the right place, and I think you can see that on the pitch. Get all the help they need and help with all they can. It's, uh, it's good, good ambassadors for your country. So, thank you very much. Okay, last two, we've got Big Sue, and then we'll finish with SNTV, which we're allowing in German, I believe, which is a treat. Congratulations. Yes, yes hello, two. hi. Big Sue here with BBC Sport. The yep. man is in town. Yes, I'm here. But now you have to make sure that I understand you, but I, I tried to understand your rap. I, was, I, I, I lost it a few times. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of slang. <laughs> yeah. But I try, I'm going to try to keep it as English as possible. Yeah, thank you. So I was in Ukraine last year. Yeah. You guys was dominating first 20 minutes. I felt like we was going to do everything. Then Salah got injured. And it felt like we got a bit deflated. We did, we did score and 
when it was 1-1, I still had hope, but I feel like that injury was a big part to us losing. So this year, have you guys prepared for that kind of circumstance? Like, are you ready to, if Bobby gets injured or if, if Marnie gets injured, what are we going to do? Oh, the, the season was our preparation. Thank you, I understood each word there. So um, the, the season was our preparation. The season was our preparation for that. Because we had these situations where we had to play without, 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 and could bring on then, and we're still winning games. So that's how it is. It was good that in the last, even the last part then, when Bobby couldn't play, Dip stepped in, Shark stepped in, brilliant. So yeah, we should be. The problem last is, of course, not only that we lost uh, more in that situation. The problem was as well, Adam Lalana, who brought on, came pretty much in the last second. He was made himself available for the game because he was injured before. Um, we had other injuries. So? Oxley. Yeah, Oxley, of course. Like, I mean, well, if Oxley would have been fit, all that stuff. So that, that we had, prob we had the, the injury problem. So that made our bench a bit thin in this specific area. So um, we will have all available players on the bench that gives us solutions. And I think apart from Nabi, they all should be available. And um, that gives us different opportunities, of course. But how I said, we are a completely different, different team to last year because, not because, yeah, signings as well, Ali, Claire, uh, Nabi, Fabinho, that's all. This, for this team, it's the first final. So, plus with the, involved a few ex more experienced players, but for Ali, he, he lost last year the semi-final. Fabinho, I think, lost the semi-final with Monaco, if I'm right. Um, so they are now in the final and with a proper group of players. So that's why I say it's the best team I ever had to go in the final. But Tottenham could say probably, probably something similar. But um, I'm, I'm really happy with my team and the options we have. But still, let's hope that something like this specific thing will not happen again. So it was not the best, the best, um, what can I say? The best thing that ever happened in football. Uh, that's just, uh, people will, will call it probably experienced, um, how they did it in that moment. And that's, that's how it is. Okay, um, just a reminder, the players will be coming in in, in about 10 minutes time. We'll, we'll do a brief break out of this final question and this will be in German. You can answer in German if you wish. Hello, Jürgen. Um, this is going to be your third Champions League final. Unfortunately, I don't, speak, no. I don't oh, speak any German, uh, but I'm going to ask the question in English, and if you can reply in German, we'll be I, greatly ah, appreciated, please. I can still speak German. Uh, this, is, <laughs> <laughs> this is your uh, third Champions League final. Unfortunately, you lost the previous one, the previous two ones, okay? What experiences did you, did you learn from those games that could be implemented or used in this game and as an individual, for you, how important will it be to win the big one, the Champions League, and to become the first Liverpool coach to bring a big trophy for Liverpool after such a long quantity of time? Thank you so much. And if you can reply in German for me, even if I don't speak it, even if I don't understand it, it will be great. Thank you. So you asked the question for who then? You don't I speak? I'm asking the question for Sports News Television. It's a news agency. We have clients all, about, all around the world. We have big clients in Germany, and they will be very, very happy to listen to you in German. Thank you so much. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so what did I learn from the? I know I, I got it, I got it. I, but I think in English, obviously. Yeah. So it's tut weh, wenn man Finale verliert. Das ist eine Erfahrung, die ich gemacht habe. Aber man kann, ich habe das noch nicht so beschrieben. Wenn man Finale verliert, dann ist das wie eine Medizin, die beschissen schmeckt. Ähm, gute Medizin habe hab ich so gelernt in meiner Kindheit, soll richtig, muss schlecht schmecken, aber es hilft. Und wenn man das Finale als so ein, so ein mies schmeckendes ähm, Medikament nimmt, dann kann es echt helfen und kann einen neu, neu aufladen, kann einen ähm, neu wieder an den Start bringen und ähm, ja, man kann das schon immer so als extra, als extra Motivation nutzen. Und genau das haben wir gemacht und deshalb ist das, ähm, ist es aus heutiger Sicht gar nicht schlecht, dass wir das Finale verloren haben. Nicht sicher, ob wir wieder im Finale wären, wenn wir es letztes Jahr gewonnen hätten. Das eine, das andere ist dann, ähm, wichtig wäre, ja, klar, ähm, die, Mensch, die Welt da draußen erwartet äh, von uns allen, wenn wir im Finale sind, dass wir es gewinnen. In meinem speziellen Fall, äh, wenn man es so oft versucht hat, erwartet man es möglicherweise noch ein bisschen mehr, aber das ist okay. 
so ich will das ähm, unbedingt, aber nicht für mich, sondern für meine Spieler und für diesen großen Club. Und würde mich schon glücklich machen, wenn wir das hinkriegen würden. Awesome. Okay, thank you very much. The players will be in about 10 minutes, guys. Thank you. Welcome. Five minutes back here. We need to start with if Roberto Firmino isn't quite ready to start, uh, will you be putting your hand up to start up front again? <laughs> uh, I prefer to play on the midfield, but if the manager needs me there, I will play uh, anywhere. But I think um, that's a really difficult position to play, and I think uh, Dave Walker Sturridge is a better option. But what I just said, the manager decides where, where you play, so if he needs me there, yeah. And I will play there. With that in mind, then, just how important is Bobby to the way Liverpool play? Uh, really important, because uh, he set the pressing from from the front, and uh, we 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 just, we just trying to follow him. And uh, also, when when we have the ball, he's like an extra midfielder, so an extra player on the midfield. So uh, he's really important in both ways, because. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, because even when when the midfielders have the ball, you trying to come from behind to to um, basically take the ball off them. So he's also an extra defender, um, but then as a striker. After the season you've had as well, Genie, and you've been so close to to winning the league title. What pressure do you feel now to round the season off in the right way and, and finally deliver that first trophy in the Jurgen Klopp here? Personally, I don't really have uh, pressure. Um, for me, it's uh, just an opportunity to win a title. And um, yeah, we just have to see how we're going to react as a team. Uh, it's always uh, easier to speak for yourself because I control my performance and everything, but I, don't, I can't uh, control the performance of the whole team. Uh, we just have to make sure that we are ready and um, give everything to win this game. But if we have pressure, we, we will see on Saturday. But till now, everything um, goes well. Everyone is relaxed. So uh, I don't have the feeling that we have pressure. Joel, I'll ask you the same question then. Are you feeling any pressure where Jeannie is? <coughs> I think we just should try to enjoy this chance to win the title. And uh, yeah. Do our thing to win it. It's three weeks though since you were last involved in competitive action as a squad. So has that been a good thing, a bad thing? What's it been like? It's the same for our opponent. So we have fresh legs. We trained really well, and uh, yeah, we're in a good shape. And how happy then are you, Joel, with your form this season? What's been the real key as part of that successful Liverpool back line? For sure, Virgil make a big impact, but uh, as a whole squad, we improve a lot. It starts, like Jeannie said, in the beginning, uh, in the front, like Roberto is, for example, the first defender, and Ali in the back. He also is great against the ball, and with the ball, he does some amazing things. Finally, for me, we're all obviously waiting to hear whether Harry Kane or Son is going to start for Spurs up front, so who would you prefer to face? Oh. It doesn't matter. So we will defend them all as a team and it doesn't matter who is coming. Jeannie, you played a big part, obviously, in the victory over Barcelona at Anfield with, with those two goals coming off the bench. And you've been in, I mean, all teams at some stage come from behind to win matches. But the way that Liverpool <coughs> seem to do it with such great regularity, what is it about this squad that you've been able to build this incredible never say die spirit I think the belief um, I think after a 3 0 defeat in Spain if you don't have the belief to to change it uh, at Anfield I think then it's all really impossible I think we uh, had the belief that we could change it also because we played at Anfield uh, we know uh, Champions League nights are special nights uh, at Anfield and that we can beat everyone, and um, even with big numbers. Uh, we did it against Rome, against City. I think City is one of the best teams in, in the world, and we were still managed to win the home game with 3-0. It was a different circumstance, but um, I think even against Barcelona, the belief was there to, to win the game 4-0. It's a really competitive squad, obviously, and lots of midfield options for, for the manager. How do you manage to channel the disappointment in the games where you don't start? I mean, you must have been devastated not to start against yeah. Barcelona, but, but you managed to come on and make such a big impact. And it's not just you, it's everybody. Uh, you know, first, first of all, it's, it's a really disappointed um, thing for, for the player himself. But at the end, it's a team sport. And, um, you know, when you come in, you, you, you don't only play for yourself, but you play for a team, you play for the supporters, you play for the club. So um, at, I think at that moment you have to forget uh, the disappointment you have and just trying to give everything for a team. And yeah, that's what I did. Basically, when, when, I, when I come in, um, you, you forget that you were angry because you're playing and you're trying to enjoy and you, you're trying to uh, succeed uh, and what we did. So at the end, uh, I think even as a player, you, you forget that you were sitting on the bench and even the disappointment you had. So, yeah, I think that's the, the best way to react. Can I ask you, Joel, uh, how much does it give you from a personal footballing perspective to have the vote of confidence from the manager to keep on picking you now that 
you know, Day and Lovren, it, it, it has been fitting games. You've been chosen ahead of him. Joe Gomez, too. That's a, a lot of trust that the manager's put into you. And that, how does that make you feel? Oh, I think it's not too bad for the self confident but uh, I always believed in myself. But now I have the opportunity to play and uh, try just to use it. And uh, But we have a lot of quality in the team, so it doesn't matter who is coming in from the bench or... They always want to show, and uh, they always showed. So it's just a good team, and it's really been it's really nice to be part of this. Is this the best spell of your Liverpool career? Do you think? Spell? The best period of your Liverpool career, given uh, all these big games that you've been playing in regularly towards the end of the season. It's really good that we had in the last few weeks that many wins, and yeah. I feel fine. Uh, it's hard to compare it to uh, other parts of my uh, uh, career, but uh, I really enjoy the time now. Uh, well, it was different last year because it was Real Madrid, but there is no hiding that you go into this game as the favorite to win. I know there's no disrespect to the Spurs, but because where you finished in the league and that you beat them twice and the way you're performing. How much pressure does that add on you being the favorite this time in the final? To be fair, I don't really think about favorites or uh, something because in a game everything can happen, 90 minutes or even 95 minutes. Uh, two teams will make a chance to win the game. And I think uh, everyone make us favorite because what you just said, we, we uh, finished higher than them in the league. We won two times against them. But if you, I think, especially look at the second game we played against them, in the second half, it was quite difficult, and um, for a long time it was looking, looking like the game will end 1-1. And I think with a little bit of luck, uh, we had the second goal. So um, I think if you compare the teams to each other, it, it will be it will be a 50-50 if, if, if uh, both teams can can win the win the game. So I think that's why it's important for us to to start the game well, uh, focus, and give everything we have. Joel, don't think about it and say as pressure, but you must be thinking about the final every day. So what goes through the mind of a player knowing that you're playing the final in a couple of days? At the moment, I'm quite fine. Of course, I know that's one of the biggest games, but at the moment, I'm fine. So I just want to enjoy it that I have the opportunity. It's like, that's the kind of games you always want to play as a kid, and now you're there, and... Uh, it would be stupid to really make you more pressure than it is, even uh, one week before. That doesn't help. So, in the game, you, the tension has to be there, but uh, one week before doing the session, doing the training session, okay, but uh, not doing the whole day. Got the gentleman in the white shirt in the middle there. Just raise your hand. That's what they're asking. Hi, Gini, Christian Martin from Fox Sports, Latin America. Just tell us the, the way the, the manager asked you to approach this week after the, the amazing things that happened in the previous ones. Is, you know, you, you're going to get to Madrid slightly favorites um, because of the things you, you've done. Um, the, 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 the confidence, the competitiveness, the physicality of the team, the situation can get to your minds and, uh, and play games. Um, to be fair, from the first day that we come back together, he was quite strict and said that um, that the focus has to be on the Champions League now and that we have to train hard uh, in Spain. I think we had a good training week. Uh, was harder than normal, I think, because we had a few days off. So it was like a small preseason. But um, I think in everyone, in everything, he trying to prepare us for 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 the for the final. So um, even even with boxes. Uh, he wants us to be 100% concentrated and with everything we do on the pitch. So um, basically, it's not different than all the other weeks we had. But um, what I just said, we, have, we were a few days off, so we trained a little bit harder uh, during, during the week in Spain. And um, yeah, also because you have <coughs> a few weeks um, before the final, I think uh, that was like uh, 10 days. Um, yeah, you, you train different. You're trying to train harder because you don't have um, basically two games in between the games.
because we had a rhythm that we were training uh, basically less and play uh, a lot of games, but we don't have the games now, so you train slightly harder than normal. Okay. Regina, um, three years ago you were at Newcastle with Moose Soko. You both relegated with that team. On Saturday you're going to be playing against him in a Champions League final. Just talk to us about what it would be like facing your former teammate. Um, to be fair, with Moose I have a quite good relationship uh, already at uh, Newcastle. And, uh, when I came there, he was the first player who brought me to eat something. So uh, not even a Dutch player. There was a lot of Dutch players there, obviously. But um, since that moment, I have a really good relationship with him. Uh, he came to my house a lot of times in Newcastle. And even when uh, we split, he went to, to Tottenham. I went to Liverpool. We still speak with each other. And we congratulate each other with the final. But in the final, we will, we will not be friends for 95 minutes. and. Um, yeah, after we will speak again, but uh, he's a special friend uh, because uh, what I just said, when I came to Newcastle, he was one of the players who helped me to settle in. And a quick one for you, Joel. Um, what's it like playing alongside Virgil van Dijk? Just tell us about his special qualities because he's the best defender we've got in the Premier League. He did it great defensively and with the ball, he's so calm. He wins his challenge in the air and on the ground. He gives the whole team uh, much more stability and yeah, he did it very well. It's PP Sports from China, first the Jorginho, and uh, people usually believe that superhero players will uh, change the result, but you and Devok, you two heroes sent your team to Madrid. So is that means everyone of your team could be the key of the final? Personally, I think that everyone is a key in the final because you do it as a team and um, you know how better your teammates perform, it will make it easier for, for yourself to perform. Uh, um, yeah, to come back for the question before that, I think everyone is a hero in, in this case. Uh, a lot of, lot of people speak about Divok and I because we score the goals, but um, I think the, the defenders defend Messi quite well, the midfielders did it quite well, even the attackers. So, um, Divok and I, we, we get also assists to score the goal. So also the people who gave the assist are heroes. So I think it's, as a collective, it's, it's, it's a good team team uh, performance. And I think that's why we have to praise everyone and not only the players who score. Because a lot of times, uh, not only now, but in a lot of games, they, they only speak about the players who score goals. But you have also other players on the pitch. And I think against Barcelona was a lot of players who did their work. I think Alisson make a really good, a few good saves. Um, the, the fullbacks were good. Uh, the midfield was good. Everyone was good. But because Divock and I scored, everyone will praise us. But I don't think that's fair to the whole team because as team performance to achieve a f uh, three, three nil defeat and come back and win even four nil, I think that we that we did it all together. Thank you, and you. Uh, it's a pity that you missed the final last year. So, if in Madrid you are in the starting lineup, you look behind. It's Alison, the Golden Glove. Is that much better? Um, Ali is a great save, but also Loris is a great keeper. And but. Uh, uh, we trust Ali and he did it so well the whole season with the ball and to have him in the back it give all the, the defenders or the whole team uh, an extra push and uh, we will be ready in Madrid. It doesn't matter who will play, who will be on the pitch. We will all fight, not only the player, not only the 11 player on the pitch, we will all fight together to win this. Okay. We'll pass the microphone here. A question for both, please, Fernando Garcia, TV. We know what happened against Barcelona. The team kind of like collapsed, panic uh, in the second leg against you guys. Many blame that it was because what happened with Barcelona in Rome when they lost at home. And considering the precedents, considering that last year you lost against Real Madrid 3-1, do you think that feeling of panicking could happen to you guys in this final, considering what happened last year against Real Madrid? Thank you. Um, everything can happen. I think more uh, that will happen to us last, night, uh, last year 
it will help us this year. Uh, we experience uh, one final more, so we play the final, we take that experience to this final, so hopefully we can bring this final to an, into a better end, but everything can happen in the final. But I, I, I don't think we are, we are that nervous or think that things can happen to us again. So uh, what I just said, that we, we take it more as an experience than, than as something where we should be scared of. That's the same. We try to learn from uh, this experience we had and uh, try to do, make it better, but we play against a great side and uh, it will be a big fight and uh, like Jeannie said, everything is, hap everything is possible. Caldeira for Supporters Interactivo Brazil. Uh, we could see the impact of the fans against Barcelona. Anfield was massively helpful for you. And we have lots of fans going to Madrid with and without a ticket. I would like to ask each of you to send a messages, message to the fans that are going to the final. Uh, we have to say a message to the fans. Yes, please. Uh, fans, thank you for your support. <laughs> uh, I think because of the fans, uh, I think they make it happen. They make it possible to win the game at Anfield with 4-0. I would. I think it would be way more difficult if we played that game somewhere else. But um, I think during the whole season, uh, they they support us uh, quite good. Even after um, bad results we had, they were still there to support us. So um, it's a compliment for the fans. And yeah. I, Basically, I don't know what to say to the fans that don't have a ticket. It's, it's difficult because well, what, what can you tell them? It's, did you feel sorry or something? <laughs> it, yeah. yeah, I feel sorry. Yeah, I think everyone deserves to be there, especially if you support your team during the whole season. But that's something we can control. You know, if there's uh, an amount of tickets and, and I think the, the UEFA, the UEFA. They decide where the tickets will come, so it's not up to us that everyone can have a ticket. I, I would <laughs> if if I had them, but <laughs> unfortunately, I don't. Have, I don't have them. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone.